Hello, Night Suit community. Uh, sorry for the terrible, like, military garbage radio sounding audio I have on this, but it refuses to use my normal microphone, so, so you're going to have to deal for a sec, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm sure you've been noticing that uh, both Terry and myself have been uh, kind of not online recently, so I just want to address what's going on. So in case you're not in the know or haven't been told or heard about it in the grave, through the grapevine, uh, we're trying a private server called Crimson Desert Online. Uh, the experience has been unforgettably fun so far. Um, it's the like, it's the way Black Desert should be, and um, so far, I I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. I'm gonna go over some reasons why. Um, <clears throat> well, how's this is? I'm also sending this message to urge you to try it, and if you don't like it, you can just pop off and leave, although I think you'll be hesitant to want to leave once you actually hop in and try. Uh, Terry herself was also a little bit hesitant, but as soon as she actually hopped in and gave it a shot, it was it's, it's, night, and day. it's night and day. So, um, first reason. Your reason number one, fuck spending cash. Um... The pearl system in this game is ingenuitive and fun as hell. So in case you haven't seen it in the, I believe, BDOBS uh, channel, I linked the pearl box in there. Um, it, it Basically, you do the little roulette that you do whenever you get a, a little loot item or one of those loot items in retail uh, BDO. When I say retail BDO, I'm referring to current live servers. Uh, so in retail BDO, uh, like they have some of those loot boxes where you spin the wheel whatever. When you kill monsters, they have a chance to drop pearl boxes. Those pearl boxes can have anywhere from 16 all the way to a $100 package, so 11500 Now, it's much harder to get those, and they're much more rare to get. Um, but essentially, you, you build your pearl economy based on whatever you're doing. You're gathering, uh, fishing, uh, killing monsters, how, however you do that. As long as you're looting something... Uh, you have a chance of getting pearls. So, uh, you can, like I said, you, uh, at first, like I said, it's very, it's a little slow at first, but essentially, since you don't have a pet, you start with one pet in the game, uh, and a seven day value pack and seven day comma silver, but you buy your way through however means you want to play the game to do whatever pearl things you need to do. Whether it's horsing or doing horse stuff or, uh, costumes, pets, housing, shit, whatever, whatever you want to do. But uh, essentially, the way it works is you get your pets first, and then you get your costumes, and then from there you can essentially just kind of do what you wish with your pearls. But it's all done in the game. You 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 play to pay for your shit. You don't you don't spend real fucking cash, which is huge. Um, and it's wonderful. Point number two: gearing. So gearing in this game. Uh, in terms of getting your boss gear, is far easier. Not so easy that it's like it's it's a it's a handout, um, but you uh, you can grind mob areas to get the scrolls a lot easier, um, so that you can continue to farm those bosses, uh, boss bundles rates have gone, are, are increased so that you can attempt to uh, get that gear a lot more uh, a lot more efficiently uh, so you can start trying to get to try as soon as possible. Uh, speaking on that, uh, enhancing to try, uh, point number three, enhancing to try uh, is far easier. Uh, most people do it on like 30 sacks, and that's it. Some even do it on like 25 but getting to try is simple so that everyone can be, or so that more people can get to that even level playing field. If they want to go for Tet and Pen, they still have the same chances they would on retail, uh, except that, uh, yeah, they have the same chances they would on retails. But getting to try is something that's easier to do. It's more consistent. It's, it's a lot more consistent to get to try so that you can get out there and you can grind those you know, areas you want to grind. Um, so 
Uh, it's, it's just good, good shit, man. It's good shit. Uh, next, guaranteed guaranteed item drops and item drop rates. So item drop rate in general is increased by 20%, uh, both in terms of drop rate uh, and drop quantity as well. So, uh, example for a Fogans, and a Fogan drops anywhere between one and four helmet shards. On this server, they drop anywhere between three and seven helmet shards. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I am so sorry about that. Um, so they drop those helmet shards, so you also make more money where you go. Now, the guaranteed item drop, uh, what, I re what I'm talking about there is, well, let's say we're also at Fogan still, and in retail, you can be there for 20 minutes, pop a Seraph's necklace, right? That happens sometimes. You can be there for two hours, no Seraph's necklace, right? That shit sucks. Well, in this game, or in this server, I should say, not in this game. Uh, in this server, if you've been somewhere um, grinding and you haven't gotten that item drop, you're guaranteed that item drop at two hours, 100%, no matter what. Whether it's um, whether it's like an orange item or a yellow item, you know, whatever, like a yellow accessory, whatever, done, like. You just, you just get it, like that. Like at that two-hour mark, the next mob you kill will drop that yellow item or that blue item, whatever, whatever you're farming for. Um, which is a great quality of life change. You know, uh, keeps keeps supply high, so prices are low. So you can, you know, try stack. You know, when you get that economy going, you can, you know, make make things more consistently. Um, the CC point number five. The CC system. So in this game, you do not have. Uh, there's only four. There's only four CCs at one time. So what that means is, you do a standing CC. You cannot chain into another standing CC. You do a grounding CC. You can then do a air smash from that from that uh, knock up or bound or whatever you're doing. You can do an air smash or ground smash. And then a grapple if you have one. You can also start with a grapple. However, um, getting up in this game is a lot faster. You don't sit there, you know, while Future beats on you all day. And it's like, oh, by the way, I saw that you were napping. I wanted to float you again. And then, and then just make sure you're, you know, just getting smacked a couple more times. <laughs> not, not, nothing on you, Future. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just using an example because your combo is super long. But uh, it's a, a lot more fair. It gives you a chance. When you make that mistake, it's not, it doesn't spell a one shot. You don't get just wrecked. You can't, there is no nine or ten combo, no nine or no, no nine or ten ability combos, uh, that you can just do for days. It doesn't work that way. Um, so, uh, that's great. Grappling, speaking of grappling, you have a 12 second timer. So you don't have the berserker who's like, "Hey, come here," and then the striker who's who's strikers, but he's like, "Hey, you come here." You know, they just keep chaining you over and over again. It doesn't work like that. If you use your grapple early, you might end up not being able to dish out as much damage as you want, and you have to pull off. So, like I said, a 12 second timer is a really long time. So all those grapple classes who used to just, "Oh, grapple down, grapple down," they really have to play a lot more methodical now. So um, it's really, it's really actually been really fun. Uh, oh, class balance, uh, point number six, class balance in this game uh, is has been refined. Um, <clears throat> they don't have the archer yet, but the reason they don't have the archer is because they're redoing his numbers right now. Uh, so they retuned every class uh, in terms of all the damage they do has been reformatted so that it's easier to PvE grind. And the PvP has been scaled, all the damage reduced in PvP has been scaled for skirmish combat. So, um, because uh, the private servers aren't going to have, you know, the population that a retail server has, they rebalance the classes so that it's more towards 5v5, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, and 5v5 combat. So, it's a lot more enjoyable. Um, like, you know, it's a lot more fair for every class, so you don't have, um, you don't have, you know, 
uh, or, or just in general, it's more fair for every class. Like even put it this way, Terry and I uh, were able. Oh, speaking on that, they also have a testing realm. Uh, it, in the character creation, you have a premium character slot. You can make a character for free, uh, any class you want, uh, and gear them max gear. Uh, you can do AP gear, DP gear, or hybrid gear. So you can see what the class is like endgame. You're given 4,000 skill points so you can buy everything. Um, and T- Terry and I were, were in the arena. She was on her witch. I made like a ninja just because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to make a ninja. Or, you know, what we would call a very strong 1v1 class. And we were able to, like, have a legitimate duel, uh, even even though she was really rusty. Uh, like, I couldn't, as a ninja, even though I was, like, I was trying to use the proper, or, you know, retail proper combo, and it wasn't working. So, it's a lot more, you know, back and forth between people, instead of just, oh, I got the CC, I'm most likely going to win. You know, so uh, it's a lot more fun. Now, that has caused people, like, in terms of, like, most ninja players have been a little upset about it because, you know, that's, like, the whole point of the ninja uh, and, like, assassin classes. But they're still, like, when they deal damage when someone's on the ground or whatever, they still deal really, really high damage. There's nothing to laugh at. So um, it's it's a a nice change of pace. Uh, Moving on. Point number seven. Gathering and crafting. So the crafting times for like making tools, making boats, you know, Ethereum, even Ethereum boats. I'll put it this way: you could even Zube can make an Ethereum sailboat. Not that he would, but like the timers from retail to here, like a, like just as an example, an Ethereum ticket would take you, with a goblin, even with a goblin, would take you around around three and a half hours to do a single certificate on a, an Ethereum sailboat. In this build, it only takes an hour and 25 minutes for a goblin to do that task. So what that means is that boat takes about 60% less time to create, so it's realistic. Um... And the, gathering the materials for the boat, speak on that gathering. Uh, this, I guess this is mainly for Alice. Okay, Google, turn off alarm. Um, the, um, the gathering in the game is uh, far more rewarding. So where Future or Zupe would usually say, fuck you, I'm not doing life skills, I'm not a life skill hoe. Um, even if they just went to Sheep Mountain right next to Heidel, no bullshit, I'm not even kidding you, in less than five hours, we went from, well, we went, uh, my buddy and I went from gathering beginner one to professional in about six hours. But yeah, just about six hours. So even at three hours, that still gets you to about skill five, skill seven. And with luck five, which you can go by the gems in Calpheon, super easy. In three hours, we had over 20 of each, sharp and hard, within three hours. And that was going from beginner to skilled. After that, we were able to consistently, every time we go do a run, we get at least three of each shard. And a run would last no longer than... 12 minutes. So, you do the math on how fucking great that is. But anyway, um, like you get to the point where you can sell sharps and hards during, like, during your downtime and just make passive money. It's, it, it gets stupid, but anyway, that's, that's on that note. Uh, number eight, the community is fucking awesome. They're super helpful, super nice. Um, or not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's like Final Fantasy, but they are very, most of the time are very helpful, and, you know, if you're stuck on something, they'll help you, or if you are got a question about if it's in the server, or if it's not in the server because of retail and private server, you know, very helpful people. Um, and, oh, speaking of that, uh, the boss spawns, the, both, the bosses spawn, they toggle back and forth between NA and EU, um, <clears throat> so you can switch between NA and EU, there's only four channels, there's NA, NA, 
EU standard, and there's NA ARSHA and EU ARSHA. Um, so when you're doing the, like if you want to go do a world boss, the way they have it set up is so people will go, let's say it's on NA. Like, let's say it's Dim Tree and Nuver NA. Well, because they spawn in pairs. You'll go to whichever one you want. Uh, then you'll, uh, you'll go to Dim Tree. And then on Standard NA. And then you'll do Dim Tree, blah, 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 blah. You'll kill Dim Tree. Then everyone switches over to Arsha. Because it's a, it's a separate NA channel. And then everyone goes together. So you basically have two chances to get an already increased drop chance on that boss gear so that you can get your boss gear and have a good time. Not only that, every single boss has a guaranteed pro box in it. Guaranteed. So, all the more reason to go do your, your fucking bosses anyway. Uh, so that's really great. Uh, I should have touched on that earlier. My apologies. I don't mean to keep going and back and forth. Uh, and finally, level cap. Right now they have a 60, level 60 level cap. They don't plan on increasing it for about six months, so that players have the opportunity to not get, you know, super duper far ahead and focus on gearing and gearing and gearing. Um, like you could argue that people would get bored and they'd want to hit 62 or whatever. But it gives everyone an equal opportunity to get level 60. And not only that, you know, like I said, if you're, you don't have the time to hit level 62, like on retail and shit like that, it gives you the opportunity to, to you know, you don't have to worry about being out accuracy or having to out, you know, get more accuracy just so you can hit somebody. Uh, it's already taken care of. Uh, so, right. Um, that is that. So, anything I'm left out? I don't think so. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. Uh, in If you'd be willing to try it. If not, I completely understand. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If you're going to try this uh, server, do not log back into B your retail BDO for a couple of days. Um, like, so like, if you want to try retail, if you're going to go back to retail, let's say, let's say you want to try it and then you're like, oh, I don't want to do it, I'm going to go back to retail. Um, you uninstall Crimson before you go back to retail. Because what can happen is, because you have Black Desert files that are not Black De really real Black Desert files, technically, like, there's nothing legally wrong with having the private server, but the problem is because you have Black Desert affiliated files, if you try to run retail Black Desert and it sees that you have uh, altered files on your computer, it can get you suspended or worst case banned. So, you know, big thing. If you're going to try the server before you go back to retail, uninstall the shit. Uninstall it completely. Once you uninstall, it's fine. But like I said, don't try and even like, oh, I'm going to go back on retail. I'm just not going to run that one in the background. Like it won't let you launch both at the same time, but don't even have one. Like if you're going to try one or whatever, like you need to swap out the install. So that's fun too. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. If you have any, other qu if you have any questions, PM me. Um, like I said, I'm on another uh, Discord. The only reason I'm not on... Uh, our Discord right now is because, um, uh, yeah, the only reason I'm not on our Discord currently is because I wasn't sure if, you know, I want to use our Discord as the Crimson Desert online Discord, but that's only if most of you want to move over. If not, uh, I want to keep that uh, space open. For you guys, I don't want to um, take that away from you. Um, so that that's that. Like I said, if you have any other questions, uh, just PM me and all that, and I'll uh, be happy to answer. Thanks for listening.